What? What's up, guys? What's going on, guys? Uh, fuck you. Talk. What's up, guys? What's going on? Breakdown episode number, I think it's five. I don't know, but. Four, we, maybe. Maybe. We, yeah, well. <laughs> guys, you're up. Hi, guys. My name is Tone. Okay. I'm, uh, and I'm an IDs. alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, we here. Camp out. <laughs> K Block. Every Thursday on the Thursday, 8 p.m. No hype beasting on this channel. Oh, remember that? <laughs> nice bag, girl. You like that shit, right? Anyway, I'm in debt now because of this bag. In, 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 in debt. In, 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 in debt. Debt, in debt debt. God damn it! I'm in debt. <laughs> in debt. He's scuba diving with Supreme Gear. Next up on the breakdown. Anyway, let's get into uh, this weekend's releases. Not a lot going on. Couple things. Let's just breeze through it. Air Max 270. A lot of colors. A lot of them. A so rainbow. A lot of them are very nice also. Some are, are very nice. Okay, yes. so you got this orange, black. That's orange? Infrared. I don't know. It looks like yellow. Oh, that's yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Sun, sunset. You want to go with sunset? He sunset. likes sunset. Uh, sunset, <laughs> infrared, white midsole, kind of clean. We'll talk about the silhouette later. You have a, like a greenish blue. What, 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 what oh, that, that was pretty dope. Like an ocean kind I would of? I say, yeah, like, like sea foam. Like a... Uh, sea foam. Sea foam. Oh. Is that that's probably what it's called? Yeah. Seafoam. Uh, Seafoam infrared, white, black, infrared, and then you have a whole barrage of black with Holy different shit. Um, color bubbles. Uh, blue, navy blue with a white midsole, navy blue air Don't unit. Drop me at once. Uh, black, blue air no unit. Way. Are they? Black. Infrared air unit, yeah, black volt. volt air unit. It's just, it's a lot of 270s, but they all look really good. So you'll definitely see me picking up at least one of these. They'll all drop, they all drop this week, like the yeah. all every color? Oh, all right. Hey, y'all know what is the best Yo, way. What's the problem? What do you mean what's wrong? We just started. We're doing the breakdown. Right. Obviously, if it's dropping right, this weekend, that's why we're talking okay. about it. We here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. All right. Next up. Oh, uh, go ahead. KB, oh, you got that. Nike Air, Nike Air more up tempo. 160. What's 160? The, the, price. the air unit. What does the shoe look like? It looks white. <laughs> it's silver. Wow, that's crazy. It looks white or it is white? It is white with okay. silver. It looks like it has aluminum foil on it. I'm not with it. Is that chrome? Go. The chrome. I like that translucent outsole though. All right, what else is dropping? Nike Air Max 180 Ultra Marine, uh, retails NA. That is the OG <laughs> colorway. I would say it's probably about 120, if I'm not mistaken. It could be 140 for the inflation. I need to see it on feet. Like inflation. I feel like it only looks good on certain people's feet. What kind of people? Like not people. With feet. Not people with fat feet. No okay. ankles. You mean people with wide feet? <laughs> no ankles. Or no ankles. <laughs> Uh, He's trying to get people to hate me. What are you talking about? You said certain people can't wear it. That's pretty. You got tree, up. you got tree trunk ankles. Yeah. Well, I'm just being. I don't like... got chicken legs. <laughs> I gotta have a strong foundation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <my ears. laughs> what else dropping? Air Max 93 OG. Du they call it Dusty Cactus. Yeah. It's what happened to the menthol? Menthol. Yeah. Like, dusty know. Cactus. Very confusing. Fuck? I've never seen a cactus it dusty this newborn. color. Wow, it looks very bright for dust. Yeah. The colorway is fire though. I like it. You smart. You you on the ball. Hey. <laughs> hey, KB, you got the next one. <laughs> the colorway is nice. Anybody else? What? Um, it's 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 like a re-release. It's OG. Is that Adidas like... NMD racer. What is it racing to? <laughs> um, I'll be thinking about you. No, it's like a. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> it's like um a blue. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? It's like a blue. It... I can't think of the color blue. Like it's. It's like a steel blue. blue. A steel blue. But more towards the darker side. So like Why is this, yo, is there crack in this blue blueberry or like red Is this blue blueberry? I can't even talk. Nah, it's blue. You're good. It's still blue. <laughs> what the fuck is that on the There's midsole? another color too, goddammit. There's fucking Legos on the midsole and the also. Oh, That's weird. It looks like rocks. Yeah, weird. It might be a rock pack. And they got a, a pair of pink. It's pop rocks. It looks kind of you Pop rocks, that. yeah. See, that. that was good ones. Pop rocks. That was some crack it. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, yeah, they're, they're both trash. The steel blue is a nice color, but the whole fucking also the, the fucking pop rock. No way. Not for me. All right, Saturday. Dun, dun, dun. I, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> it's Red Bull Delicious. Yeah. Big Bang Faux Pas Worldwide release dropping. They first dropped that Sneak Easy in Boston. And now they're dropping again worldwide for everybody to have. They might go on sale or everybody will buy it and try to sell it to nobody because nobody wants it. Yeah. So it's going to be just like dead inventory because I don't see anybody paying. 500 for a pair of phone pods at this time. No, they didn't want to pay game. retail for a fucking phone I mean, pod. no, actually, yeah. one time I, I feel like I met somebody and he was like crazy for phone pods, and, and I was like, You still wear those? What did he say? I think you were there. No. What kind of person um, was he? I wasn't there. He's a Spanish person. <laughs> so only Spanish people wear phone pods, huh? I don't know. 
Air Jordan 9 All-Star retail for $190, drop it on the third. Uh, it's black and white. Not much going on. This shit's yeah. trash. It's a nine, I'm not. It's a you don't like nines? No. I like nines. Well, it's but like not a tuxedo this colorway. Color. Yeah. What's the next one? Alright. Air Jordan 6, Chinese New Year, retail for $250. Too much. And also dropping with that is Air Jordan 32, Chinese New Year, too, retail too and a uh this whole embroidery <laughs> shit is getting out of hand. If it says NA, you don't have to say anything. You can just be like, oh, this is the Jordan. We don't know the price, so I'm not even gonna say a price. Not it's like, not your fault that they don't put the price. Yeah, it's not there. your fault. It's not a jab at you. <laughs> it's just it's NA, that's just it. People's gonna ask, yo, what's the retail? Like, NA. Nobody has ever asked the price of a shoe in fucking three years of doing this show. <laughs> anyway. What's wrong with you guys? Fucking Nobody interact ever, with us. I don't think you're watching to be like, oh, so I'm gonna calculate my tax based on the breakdown. No, you're gonna do it. Like, what the fuck? All right, this whole embroidery shit is getting out of hand. I don't like this shit a lot on this shoe, but on the LeBron's you that, that Ronnie did. Yeah, I do. <laughs> that, that Ronnie did and shit. Like this shit was way better than the LeBron 15s. I like those. <laughs> Let me see this real quick. No, no, you're good. Look, we're moving <laughs> afterthoughts. I, mean, I know, we're done. Already? Right yeah, that was the whole point. Whoa. No Whoa. editing today. All right. Uh, oh, you waiting for me? That's my cue? Afterthoughts. Oh, God, don't get elbows. <laughs> Notice I ain't going nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now you did. All right, so you guys noticed that we mentioned the 270s earlier. We didn't get into a deep discussion because we want to bring it up now. What do you guys think about the 270? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you agree with the silhouette? What about it? Pros, cons. Go. Okay. I heard. Okay, go ahead. My bad. No, you can go first. Ladies first. Like ladies first. Son of a bitch. I, I like it. It's cool, but I have to see it on feet. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty what cool. the hell you get the glasses for? Because like. <laughs> You had glasses on the whole episode? Where'd you get that bag from? <laughs> from this pile right here. Uh, Pretty sure it's yours. Follow KB. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you like the fucking 270, goddammit? I, I thought she was gonna finish. You said, I said, said I like it. it. That's cool. it? I like it? I mean, I have to see it on feet. I can never judge a shoe until I like, There, there was on. a lot of photos on feet circulating the internet. I mean, well, like, not in, on in my real feet. life. Oh, real, real in, life. In, like, real life. No, Love not it. even on my feet. I haven't even seen them on feet. Internet photos don't really do justice. For real? You don't think so? Yeah. I think sometimes it is a... No? For it depends real? who it is. Like, there's a few people on Instagram that'll post, like, a very <laughs> normal picture. <laughs> Everybody does kid that. No, 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 no. A very well, normal the glamour picture. shots? No, no. They're non-glamour shots where you're like, wow, that doesn't look good. Oh, you mean when they, like, go upwards and shit? Yeah, no. I, like, I'm, I don't know how to edit a photo. Yo, sorry guys. I don't know how to edit a photo, <laughs> so like I'll just take a picture and leave it there. That'd be mad. You don't know how to edit a photo. So. No, I'm not saying me. If you weren't, if you were paying attention to fixing your hair, you'd understand where I'm coming from. Right <laughs> Some people don't edit photos at all and just throw pictures up. So oh, they'll, they'll take, take like a. Cool. They'll take. This is kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> of me having this conversation and laughing about it because then I have to call them out. So <laughs> they'll take like a side shot and like it'll just be like on their phone. Day, night, doesn't matter. You can't even tell what the fuck they're wearing. But you're like, oh wait, that is that shoe, and it looks horrible. So, eh, that's the only comparison you have yeah, to like point. real life. I don't know. Where did that noise from? Eh. <laughs> that's what we're focused on right now. The, the, no, fuck the, the 270. Let's talk about fucking. Yeah. Eh. All right, so the 270s. Uh, a few people that I know tried them on, and they said it's not so comfortable. I mean, they're comparing it to like what exactly? Like, ultra are they, Boost. Yeah, they're gonna compare it to like uh, Ultra Boost or the comfort of a, a New Balance or. Some other high tech shit. Speaking of New Balance, sneaker balance today. New Balance. Good job for we voting. We something else next week. Good job for Adidas voting, by the way. Yep. What? A oh. Adidas. Well, it, it'll obviously the the options the of the shoes Adidas. that we haven't no. worn yet. Only own Yeezys, not Adidas. And then once we cycle through the brands, I'll switch. Question: What happens if we came to the sneaker battle with the same shoes on? It is what it is. Yeah, it is. Like how you and me had Jordan ones last week. They were week. the same color though. Yeah, but you know. It's along that line. That's the only reason why Mike won. Yo. You good? Why do you have jokes today? What? I think we all have jokes. You don't want to laugh in the moment. I'm pretty sure you said that's why Mike won last yeah. week. And then, <laughs> why do I have jokes? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, uh, moving buddy. right along. Both of you. So we mentioned something about Nike and people collaborating, and this is pointless, so I'm skipping over this. Let's go to questions, because you said that there are collaborators that are doing that. Yeah, it's uh, 10 influencers. They're all so that, that's kind of out. One black girl. Why are you gonna say it oh. like that? Because that's everybody's like upset about it. That all the other influencers that were designing this shit are probably all white. Asian. 
There was one Asian, one black, and the rest were like all white. Okay. Probably different, but there's different types of white. Like I mean, like by saying white, like you could be fucking Armenian. Right, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could be like that's not Polish. necessarily white. Like people are like, oh, this white girl having black hair with fucking Kim Kardashian. Meanwhile, she's Armenian. So like, she's white. In theory, she's, she's not really, not really not white. white. Well, her mom's she's really Caucasian. Black. Yeah, Caucasian. she's also married to a black guy. So like, ma, you she know, black my injection. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> okay, let's move along to the questions. I asked you guys to ask a lot of questions last what? week. And Cut you... it out. What? Cut it out. Cut it out. I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> so you guys really came back with a lot of questions, so I got a lot of shit to go through in here, or we do. Uh, start off with Asia <clears throat> Mac. Uh, what do you guys and KB think about CDG and Nike Air Max 180? It seems Tone hates everything that comes out now. He doesn't like those either. I don't like them shits. Them shits is a lot. Trash! <laughs> um, just trash. I, I, I'm not mad at the 180. I actually like the 180. I don't know if I agree with the colorways and the fact that there's three using the same colors. You, you know what I'm saying? Just because they the same color scheme. and switched it around really doesn't make it feel like it's anything crazy. Plus, they're $230. They're what? Yeah. $230 for yeah, 180 Because it's CDG. <laughs> but I would expect a like better the, fucking colorway from CDG. The pink one is fire. Like, no no bullshit? Pink. Like No, with the, like, totally... They're all pink. But like, Dude, one of them has black in it. Oh, one has black, one has like that black. cream color. Yeah, yeah but I like the pink with the pink. It's okay. like two pinks. The pink oh. on pink. The triple yeah, pink. Yeah. Taco Double Tuesday. Pink, pink yeah. smoothie. Yeah. Are you leaving with that bag? No. Okay, good. Are you going to let me leave with it? No. Uh, anyway, so, so no, obviously ask. the consensus here is that, the, I, like like I said, well, do you have any other opinions about this? It's just trash. I like it, but I the mean, 180. like I said, not, saw that it's one not for everybody. Yeah, it's not for everybody. Yeah, all right. You like what you like, though. Let's go to the next one. Uh, what's worse? Dusty the name, Whale. Name, name, Dusty name. Dusty the Whale. Name, yeah, what Shout up, Dusty? Out. Dusty. I appreciate you. We're going to have a, uh, a wing night soon. Yeah. Probably, hopefully, or get together. Maybe I'll be invited. Well, let's do it next week. I'm not invited to the yeah, wing nights. Yeah, yeah, next, next week. Awesome. Now that I'm on the show, though, can I go to the wing nights? No. No. Uh, what's oh, worse? You want me at the wing nights. Shout out to Dusty <laughs> the Whale. What's worse, uh, flying the Jordans or wearing two different colorways of the same sneaker for a sneaker con? Right or left IG photo? Wait, what? I, I don't understand the question because he read it like... He well, said, what, what's worse, wearing a fly knit Jordan 1 or wearing two different shoes to take a picture for a sneaker con for your IG? Like you wear two, two different like shoes. Like you wear like a Yeezy Red October and a Solar, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's worse? Yeah, what's yeah, worse? a fly knit or that? I kind of like the fly knit, I'm not going to lie. I mean, that's like worse probably, wearing two different sneakers. I, I think, yeah, definitely wearing two that's different a sneakers. Extra, like, do you need to show everybody? But I, I mean, it is possible to do it correctly, like the top three gold. It's two different suits. I mean, I would still think you're corny for that. But they're made that way, so it's not like you went into your closet with like... Like if, like, OD, shout out to the Giants, Odell wore one of the Art Basel, two different colors. Well, that looks fine, It's, it's really the same shoe, though, so, like, technically, it's but the same it's kind pack. of a little, like, come on. So, wait, we're saying, like, if it's the same silhouette, but two different colorways? I mean, yeah, it's he, like, if it's done tastefully, royal, you could do it. Two different colorways of the same yeah. sneaker. So, so, like, it's, that's exactly what he's I think it's, it's, it, you could do it, but it has to be, like, tastefully done. It can't be, like, a red October yeah, so and then, then a solar. Yeah, that shit doesn't really, like, doesn't look right. If I had art basils, I'd wear two different ones to sneaker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they complement one another. If they complement one another, I guess it's not that bad, but... Plus, it's not like you're mixing like a fucking two different shoes. Like I, I seen one dude walking on 34th Street. He had on the the zebra Yeezys, and then he had on the the black one or the V twos. That's they didn't look good at all. I could see the frozen yellow and maybe like the blue one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the the blue tint and the frozen yellow. I can't, it depends I can't on the outfit. See maybe, mixing you know? Yeezys like that. Aww. I mean, you could do it with That's the nine nine nine. The the concepts. How's that racist? Like, you can't see mixing Yeezys. Like, what's up with that? Saying, Why, stupid. Colors? How do we get here? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Dusty. Uh, <laughs> shit, fuck. Shout out to Dusty. Shout out, Mr. Crispy Claw. I've been meaning to do this for a couple of weeks. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh, this is the highlight of my week as far as sneaker YouTube variety shows consisting of three people. I fucks with hard body karate. <sighs> If all sneakers were readily available, would anyone still care? That's a very good question. Uh, you, what was, oh my bad. The, the, was the question, question was, if all sneakers were readily available, would anyone still care? I would. I would. I definitely would. I mean, it, it's just... I mean, I feel like that... It, okay, we'll wait till your makeup. We're good. Uh, you get a wardrobe malfunction? Yeah. All right, you get a nip slip or well, something? Well, yeah. Damn, dog, that's fucking sad. Gotcha. You a bitch. Uh, so, like, so you have your hype beast <laughs> who only want the hyped items that are limited, hard to get, all over the gram that people are speculating about. And then you have the people who really just like shoes. So it doesn't matter if it's a hyped item. Yeah, if I really like it, I'm getting it. I'll give you a perfect example. It doesn't matter if it's a hyped item or just something you like or you think looks good. Having it readily available means I don't have to rush to go get it. 
perfect. I have some time to be like, oh, I don't have to spend a hundred bucks this week on shoes. I can wait till next week. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that readily available is great. Word, I agree. I, I, I'm fine with it. Like, I don't really care if it's a limiter or not. If it's just dope, I'm with it. Like, Black Cement 3s, they're gonna be mass produced. Everybody's gonna want them. But then again, we do all like- They are gonna sell this. out. Oh yeah. But I'm just saying like, the production numbers are high. It's the same shit with like red ones or royal ones. It's, they're mass produced, but a lot of people want them and it's easy to get if you put in the work. Yeah. Like, even just like the regular bullshit colorways that are sitting. Some of them are dope. Some of them are like really deserving to sit, hit the outlets, but I, I, I fuck with it. Like it being mass produced. Yeah, because Nike saw everybody. money and they just went. Well, crazy. they also said they were going to cut back on numbers, so. Oh. We'll see how that goes. Uh -huh. I mean, they might cut back on certain shit. Maybe I think all. just maybe Jordans. Pairs. I think Jordans. Well, well Jordan brand specifically. Yeah, because a lot of the shit that dropped last year, all this is in the outlet still, like struggling to get sold for like 50, 35 off and shit. Like this shit's crazy. But it is did, what it did, is. Did we talk about this on the show about how using bots made them think that they were there were more people wanting to buy them? I don't think we did. We probably did, but I probably no, forgot. We didn't talk about it. Well, now it's since I've been on. So, so basically, like <laughs> Nike. <laughs> Large Look, internet basis, here. selling shoes online. Obviously, you get a lot of people that were going on to buy shoes. Now, when you're a bot, I'm one person, but I'm running 100 bots. I look like 100 people. Yeah, and they're going to think like, oh, shit, 100 people bought it. So two or three years ago when bots were going crazy and Jordans were still like being able to be resold, people were botting up the system and it was looking like hundreds of thousands of people were trying to get a specific shoe when it was really maybe like a quarter of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, people were botting it and they bomb the system so it looks like more buyers. So they probably thought that. They produced yeah. more, and in doing so, they fucked up their own market because <laughs> they didn't realize that it, was, it wasn't it was people that were trying to acquire these things. It was bot systems trying to just cart the items, and that's why they were selling out so fast. So uh, That's a good you, fucking point there, buddy. Yeah, like you, you have to like pay attention to shit like that as far as like GR and regular shit go. Like, I, like, especially with Jordan brand, which is why I feel like they're cutting back. They're not cutting back because they were like, oh fuck, like they're not selling. They're, they're cutting back because they realized we got fucked. And they're losing money. You, you know what I'm saying? And now all this shit, I, I mean, if, as long as they're selling it at their cost, they're still not losing money, but you know, they're not making the money that they should be making. Okay. Feel me? All right, anyway, uh, <clears throat> next question. Got two questions, we here. Who was the person? Lou. You Lou, what up Lou? There we go, buddy. <laughs> there you go. If you have to, if you had to see either Nike, Adidas, or New Balance, or Asics go out of business, which company would you pick? Damn. Um, Number two. Are we gonna do it one at a time? Yeah, we'll do it so far. Okay. If I had to pick, okay, you do it. Okay. I'm gonna say New Balance. <laughs> Look at the choices. Are you fucking crazy? I would definitely let Adidas go out of business. Definitely Adidas. I would definitely let Adidas go out of business. Out of those four. But I have little Adidas. feet, and like New Balance is like doesn't care. Maybe they can. Keep, I know. I know where you're coming from. Now. Like they don't really cater to the, the, yeah, the small feet yeah, crowd. Like size five is usually where it starts, and they're huge. So. How do you feel about buying a New Balance that is size five, but then retail for like two hundred or one eighty? Do you think they should have like a different bracket for like grade school sizing for New Balance? Yeah, definitely. Oh, but they that's don't cool. care. Absolutely. But that's I mean, all so shoes. They're like using every a quarter shoe. of the material. Yeah. I mean, for a size twelve to be the same price as a size four when it's you can fit it's just four fucked up, inside right? the twelve. That's much, and it's that's how much a men's four and shit or a men's five. I'm like, come on, though. Men's size start like technically at seven or yes. six and a half if you want. Next be. question. So, so we agree on Adidas going out. Yeah, Adidas. Now I feel know. bad, but I'm no, I don't feel bad. Like, no, you pick your own. You have your your right. New Balance three sixty five. What's up? Which sneaker company would you collaborate with on what model if you were given an opportunity to do so? Show less. That, that's <laughs> like, that's what? the comment. <laughs> that's my point. I've been getting fucked up he too. He left that there. Like, like, what do you mean show less? Like, he cut it out. Is it in there? Like, 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 I'm not taking off my clothes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> show okay, less. Okay, I already had a nip slip. Fuck out of here. Um, <laughs> um, if I could collaborate with this sneaker company, I mean, honestly, I would. I love Asics, but I'd say Nike. For real? Because Nike is oh, yeah, Nike a boys. platform. Nike boys. Yeah, Nike life. boys for life. Nike girls. I would definitely do Asics. Shout out the trademark. <laughs> you would do Asics for real? One thousand percent. If they would let me do what I wanted to do, one thousand percent. I'm gonna go with Nike because you get more. Which silhouette? I'm, I'm intrigued. I, I would definitely want to play around with that. Mm. Some panel shit. A, di a Diablo. Uh, either that or the Gel Light. Like, He's putting ideas light. in your head. Mm. I like the Gel Light <laughs> OG. Uh, gel Light OG with like super luxe premium bespoke style. I thought you were saying like GT too. GT2, mm. I, I would have picked the GT2. Yeah, but that's like one particular luxe material, like yeah. suede across the whole thing. Like the Gel Light has more panels. 
which is what I want to fuck with. You know, I know. fucking love leather and suede mixed together. Shout out trademark. All right, anyway. Yeah, shout out I trademark. I know, I know. We'll do it over time. I don't care. Uh, uh, what would I pick? Yeah. I would pick. Um, definitely not Saucony. Saucony did this I would have to say New Balance Who knew that or, or A6. New Balance or A6. If, I, you, I did, can't if you did a collab with Saucony, you would you be like doing a collab with Elmer's Glue. I have to like, interrupt for you. I mean, I'll still do it. They give me the opportunity. You can go do his collab with New Balance online. Oh, MV1. <laughs> that is true. Technically. You think a New Balance died because of that shit, the MV1? Like, now when like a collaboration drop, people be like, oh shit, I could probably do that MV1. The, the first thing I do now is go on MV1 and see if I can make it. Because you got fucked over with the, I got the, fucked the, over the normal pair. The normal it made me feel right? a type of way, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. It made me feel a type of way. You paid like two. Three, it was $300 for that pair of shoes. She, you could have bought it for 180 on MV1. She, she, yeah. nigga, you got <laughs> fucked over. <laughs> All right, I'm done with that. Uh, yeah, Tone, why don't you take this one? That's a question for Tone to read. Well, have fun, guys. <laughs> Rat Ham's product. Radimus. Radhams. I'm reading. <laughs> right? Ah, I'm going to give the win to Mike just for having something different. I'm glad I let him read that one. Yeah. <laughs> the Vapor Max Plus was fire. Vapor Max Plus are fire. Not for people that have wife. There you go. <laughs> Not for wife feet, though. Question. What was the first pair of kicks you ever bought with your own money? You should do a review on LeBron 15 and some Kyrie. What did you do with LeBron 15? No, that's the... Uh... That's the... Oh, for the performance shit. I got my 15s ready, my, my, my kid shit. Like, ooh. I can't wait till he's... It's gonna, I wanna see him move that fast. You know what's gonna be funny? When we're in the ambulance and he's going to the hospital because he broke his fucking ankle. I'm gonna punch him in the back. <laughs> Yo, you guys might be shocked. I might get on the court and like just whip both their asses, but... So anyway, back to the question. Who the fuck invited you? Yeah, I was about to say that. I didn't want to be rude and say Nobody that. Nobody invited you. You said I can film. You but, said it. It's on video. Yeah, you can film, but how, how are you going to hold the camera and bounce with But afterwards, thing? I'm going to just go <laughs> shoot. Like, how's that going to happen? No, you know, you know I'm mad. All right, let's get back to the question, guys. What was the first pair of kicks you ever bought with your own money? Well, you asked the question. I already know what I bought. Oh, you mm -hmm. want me to answer? I mean, okay. you start. You the first pair of singles I ever bought with my own money was uh, Silver Foam Passes that dropped in 2007 or 6. What? Foam Passes. Yeah, Foam Passes. <laughs> It's only for a certain crowd, right? I That's didn't know Samoans oh wore fucking phone pockets. They don't. They're Maui, not Samoan. Maui does. The Maui. 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 <laughs> All right, go ahead. You go. <laughs> Silver phone pockets. My first pair of shoes I ever bought was 11, uh, the con, wait, no. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the 11s, the white uh, ones. The con, what white ones? Yeah, my con the Columbia? Yeah. Columbia or Concord? I, I was gonna say, you stop fucking with Oh, me. Columbia Concord. Col Columbia's! White and blue. First pair. I just made myself dizzy laughing so hard. Just, What's wrong with you? I can't with all this shit. Um, Get out of here. My, the first pair of shoes was a two pack, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, a pair of Cortezes. Two of them? Yep. Or like white and black? Or? No, it was white with a <laughs> green know. swoosh and a blue underlay and, and then a white with a dainty yellow. <laughs> Uh, she was spit on me though. I knew, I knew it was coming, so I might as well take advantage of this. It's Damn. not dainty is not a bad word. This you is when they were classic leather back in like 1996. Were they were like the OG colorways or just like uh No, it was like colorways. it was like two colorways. I just bought these two shirts and they I was like, damn. It'll be fine those with the would match amazing you remember summertime. This story? Denim shorts. You remember this I rode my BMX to VIM you? on Queens Boulevard. From where? From 59 Let's not say the address. No, 59, 72nd Street. Oh, My okay. 72nd Street address when I was right on Calvin. Yeah. All right. Oh, <laughs> thanks for taking the time to do these episodes week in and week out. We're going to skip over the middle part of that question. Gambino99, your question is, do you think RF uses random models, Pippin, Maestros, Gel Mai, to push barriers or to avoid true critique? There's more to this question. I did not write it down because I just want to address this first part. But shout out to Gambino99 for the question. Word. Go ahead, Mike. You, you uh, ready to answer? Yep. I think that's like a a very good question and a I think that it's it's both. One to somewhat push the barrier, but also to be different from everyone else. Uh kind of masking the fact that it might not be the best collaboration to do, but the the later part of that statement is always at least he did something different. You know what I'm saying? So like I, I can agree with why you're asking that question. I just don't I don't know if it's like intentional 100%. You, you know what I'm saying? Maybe like 80% intentional that he does a different silhouette so that it kind of gets covered up by the fact that it's something you haven't seen before. You don't think he also is like, I'm Ronnie, so I'm going to put this shoe out. Everything I, I do is going to be fire. I mean, this, I mean is my, this is my most favorite project ever. To piggyback off of your statement, 
I agree, like, he always wants to go, like, a different route with this, the, you know, new silhouettes with different silhouettes that nobody's collaborating on. And he just doesn't want to follow the trend and follow, like, the mainstream collaborations. Like, if, well, let's say for this year, everybody collabs on Air Max 1s, yeah. he might be the only one that collabs on Air Max 97. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think he has that kind of pull. They're like, no, I don't want to do that silhouette. I want to do this silhouette because nobody's touched it. And I really like the silhouette and I want to do it. If that's the case, how come he hasn't done a, a Nike shoe yet? Well, he has done a few. He has done well, Nike. Well, I mean, Pippins. like, the Pippins, basketball LeBron's. shoes. But, okay, so... Maybe he's on the way. Maybe he would want to do an MX1, but since it's so saturated with the collabs from back in the days, he probably wouldn't want to touch an MX1. Did you see what's going Nike's on, though? I think probably holding out. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. Nike doesn't want to let him do a model that they're not using molds on right now. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? That's where so Nike's like, making the money. They probably have to split the money with him if he does it. No, nah, it's not. Well, I don't think it's anything to do with that. I think that because he likes to do a different wave or a different curve, they're like, well, we have these models in circulation. This is what we're going to be using for the next <coughs> two or three years. Like, we're okay. going to do the MX1 Premium. We're going to do the old silhouette. We're going to do Pippins. We're going to do Maestros. We're going to do up tempos. We're and they get 36 shoes that they're going to be doing for like the mm -hmm. next three years. These are the molds we broke out. This is what we're doing. Pick something. And he goes, well, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So they're like, all right, well, what do you want to do? Or what can we do? So they go, okay, well, LeBron 15 is coming out, so let's start a project a year ago. And he was the first one to collaborate on LeBron 15. Exactly. So, like, that, that is the mindset He's on the new that. wave. He you know what I'm saying? Like, he targeting younger kids, too. Well, if he was doing that, he would have did a Kyrie. Yeah, he would have he went he with... He would have went with a younger, you know, more... What well, it doesn't matter. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> anyway, it was a very good question, and I feel like it, it, it needs a little bit more attention, but it is what it is. It's good content from that question. We could go like half yeah. an hour talking about that shit. Here you go. Yo, bitch. Dabs get my vote. It's from Not I Love Walmart Mom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what kind of fucking screen name is this? It's just hilarious. <laughs> Alright, question. Last yard sneaker you bought. Oh, I gotta answer it? Fuck. Uh, I just bought the Tor Yellow 98s that drop. I think those are GRs, right? Yeah. Or were they Quickstrike? Yeah, Quick Quickstrike. Okay, so let me think again. Oh, oh I bought a pair of uh, 1500 New Balance from uh, SNS from overseas. I forgot the, the colorway okay. on it. But okay. that was the last GR oh, that I took. Gatorade 1's GR? No. No. Um, I, I was going to buy those CDs. Wait, wait, wait. I think Gatorade 1's are. Yeah, they do. Gatorade. GR. It's Gatorade oh. Oh, so and it's Nike. Collab. The last GR pair. Oh, they're sitting on the show. Those Air Max 97s, the Volt ones, they're GR. The one with the, the Volt the Air unit? Yeah, the women's not, only. It's, it's the gray pair. Yeah, the, the with the, the Volt. Yeah, yeah not, the, not, not the blue one. Just so happens picture. mine are 97s Yeah, those are, those are GRs. The black ones were the last one? Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. I, I still buy GRs. just got to be fire. You said you think? <laughs> <laughs> you said I think. Those still sitting out here. I think these is that the one with the, with the gold 3M? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I actually like cool. those. I think it needs the air unit is gold though, right? Yeah. That's cool. Still trash though, but... <laughs> it is what it is. Alright, who got the next question? You do. No, no, no. Oh, no, KB does. Hmm. Dr. John Doe. <laughs> Saucony next week. Tone for the win. Yeah. How do I get a shout out? That's a very good That's question, That's a good John. question. Maybe if you stop talking shit about me, I just got you out. <laughs> Well, technically. Nah, nah, you've been, you've been better. You, you just got one. What? Nah, you nah. just got my shot. Shout right. out to you, John Doe. Keep me on my toes every week. Are you really a doctor or no? Definitely not. <laughs> I, I think that's the last question, right? All right, I got a question. Oh, you, oh, okay. What are the pros and cons of shoe tubing? Pros and cons. Shoe tubing in general, like doing sneaker reviews, just blogging. Everything. And this would be a good question for this guy here to answer. Shoe tubing is just like YouTube only, right? Not like yes. blogging well, it's, it's, it's YouTube for shoes. Well, yeah. Shoe, shoe tubing. Tube. I mean, theoretically, I think that shoe tubing and the pros of it are to help the people who are watching the episode. So basically, if you're doing a vlog about a store, you can get to know about the store. If you're doing a review of a shoe, you can get to know the shoe. Um, I, I, I think the, the, the cons are the people who are solely doing it or if you're only doing it to praise a shoe or a company in hopes that they're going to bless you with shit as well, opposed sure. to being honest about what the actual product is. That's you're pretty true. We're pretty honest over here. We're yeah. not giving an honest uh, review or like the quality or yeah, the yeah, performance yeah, like, or like I, how I mean, they feel. There's a way to be positive and not negative at the same time. Like where you can you can give the attributes of a shoe in a in a way that's not you know degrading to the company but you also have to be honest about what it is well, cons yeah. also being well, everyone's doing it and everyone is copying yeah. and 
It doesn't matter how many people is doing this. The only thing that matters is who's doing it the best. Exactly. You think you're doing it the best? Because everybody's I don't buying know if I'm sneakers. Doing it the best. Not right? everybody, because people say to me, like, how many shoes do you have? And I'm just, like, pleased with that question. So ask her, you should ask them how many babies they have. You know what <laughs> well, you got 13 kids? Like, fuck out of here. You collect kids, I collect shoes. Beat it. What you collect saying? kids? You can collect kids? Yeah. That's crazy. If you have more season. than 10 kids, you get to write them kids off. kids right now. More than 10 kids? You don't have to yeah. pay taxes on. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, get the fuck <laughs> 10 kids, dog? Word, you have to have 10. I can't even imagine me with one. Like, <laughs> 10? Like, Word. that's crazy. You can't even Why? carry all of them, like. Oh, you can. You could drop all of them. <laughs> you, like, you, all you, know, you just gotta floor. get, like, like, a laundry bag and throw them in the laundry <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> like, creepy Santa. Come here, kids. <laughs> get in the bag. All right. Uh, pros and cons, I, I agree with your statement. And I also agree with yours. But I, I feel like a lot of people that's doing it, they're not really, um... They're not in the culture. They're doing it for the wrong reason. Do they really know what the medial side is? <laughs> oh, that's, that's a, that's well a good play. question. That was, I see what you did there. Do you know what a medial is? You'd be saying in your video, and you're like, wait, excuse me, I don't think you're right about that. But, but I've seen a few uh, videos. I've seen people hold the lateral side and go, the medial is pretty good. And I'm like, uh, about that. I've seen a few uh, videos, and it's just awkward watching them. And it's like, cringe, like cringe words. I hope you like, guys troll their pages. Or like, how the fuck, like, about. how do you get so many subscribers? Or who put you on to this shit? Like, what well, makes you think, like, I don't it's, want you guys to think that this is a question leading into like promoting this channel, by the way, because that is not. It was my question. It is not like, yeah, but Hold uh, on we're a sitting second. here though. It's not my channel. So, in theory, <laughs> when it comes to like people, like clickbait, clickbait has become like the new norm for like a commercial. Yeah. So it's like it's like turning on your TV and seeing, you know, people having sex and be like, oh, this is the fuck's going on here? And then it's like, like Mentos. And yeah, and, and, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's basically what the clickbait is. Like, there's a picture of two people half naked. You go click on it. You're like, oh, that's just a human nature thing. And then it's some dude, you know, and his girlfriend sitting on the couch going to Fairfax. Like, what the fuck is this? Well, and like, you end up watching the whole shit because and, you're, and like, you're like, I'm well, already here. How do I get to the fucking sex? I mean, it's just clickbait. That, that's really how that happens. Yeah. And then what's crazy is, like, the viewers actually subscribe to these channels. It's like, in hopes of more clickbait. I'm like, oh, all right, do you think? Yeah, you should get some clickbait. Nah, I'm I good. could be your clickbait. It's a joke. Was that a proposition? No. I think it was. It sounded like a proposition. No, they should have reached the contract. Off. No, no, no. Shut no. up! Get it off! Cut it We're out! We're done here! Cut it off! Uh, I had enough of you both. Clickbait. <laughs> shut okay. the fuck up! <laughs> what, is, what's, what do you say? Shoot the shot? <laughs> oh, shoot the shot? I feel like you just shot your shot. Yeah, you definitely but who did. I, I shot the shot for your channel. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, can I get. Wait, I got one thing to do before I. Uh, Oh man. What, your book? No, my, my, my zero hat. I wanted to put it on and rep for oh. the camp out, but. <laughs> Yo, spit on yourself. I <laughs> got your jeans that you never wash. Oh god. You are Don't wash your denim. Alright, I think we're out of here. Shout out to <laughs> Milton. Shout out to Boston's Best One. Shout out to the Chilling Group Chat. Shout out to the We, we Here Group shout Chat. Out shout shout out to the OG fam. You just skip. Do, do when up. you start doing that, I think it's over, so I just shut up. I mean, I mean we should do that more often. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Are you, do you have shout outs? Do your shout out. Shout out to Ashkick76 for sending me the Air Max Bible. That was dope. Shot your shot and what, you got what, through. What, nice. Yeah. Safe! They, do, do anybody send you guys anything? Nope. Nope. Alright, next. Only <laughs> trademark. Shout out to trademark. 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 Thank yeah, you. Trademark. I appreciate oh, you. Also, Ivy. Shout out to Lou. BC. Shout out to Ivy. Mm -hmm. Ivy Brand. Mm -hmm. Dave, I see you. Even though he doesn't know your Instagram and gets the better shirts that are movie quality, it's cool. Shout out to Lynch. <laughs> 1979. <laughs> shout out to Mr. Crispy Coil. Shout out to Lynch. Yes. Uh, who else Lynch, shout out to Lou. Shout out to everybody shout out to in the comment best. section. Shout out to Boston's Buzz. Shout out to Jay Paz. Shout, shout out to Jay Paz. What That's up, Jay? Uh, who else we got? Shout out to everybody that fucks with us. but I love him. Well, there goes that child. Yeah, there, there. Uh, <laughs> hey, you're nice. But here, take this rock. No. Uh, don't forget, guys. Next <laughs> week, if you guys want to vote for the sneaker battle, make sure you're following at Tone of My Voice. He'll be in March. Be doing the uh, the poll. Instagram. Yep. Cool. With Good it. to go. Uh, following week will be KB. So. All right. All right. I think we're done. Sounds dope. We're done. We out here. Later. We out. Boom. We don't need oh, the sneaker battle. battle. Uh, <laughs> and we're back. Wrong with us. <laughs> <laughs> We're here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Sneaker battle going down. Mike goes first! Oh, we got I actually won out. a sneaker battle for... Bro. <laughs> Man, she's fiending, dog. Ow! These are oh. bodega. Good try, motherfucker. <laughs> Man, don't touch Ow. my LV bag. Right. 
Yo, oh, you just broke my nail! <laughs> oh, Show's <man>. over. <laughs> we got technical difficulties. Oh, really? You didn't break his nail. No, really? It's just the pain. The pain came off. It's the pain, Chip. No, no. <laughs> Let me just stand up. Chill out, Chippy. <laughs> <laughs> Bodega, Hypercat. 577. What is it based off? We, it's off of fucking, uh, what's Star it called? Fox. Star Fox. Star Fox. Show them your socks. <laughs> Those are off white socks. Chilling, no green today, so we're good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I nice. might disappear. Literally off white. I might Ugh. disappear. Disappear. Disappear <laughs> in the background. Damn, you got babe socks? Central Park. <laughs> Why is everybody Pike, standing up for this shit? New now? Balance. You're not even focused on the shoe. Yo, Look but my shoe. Alf, my fit is fire, but I'm showing the shoe. Look, it has a little wee, wee leaf here. Has a little wee? It has a, a wee leaf. <laughs> she said it has a little wee. It, it, no, shut up. Shut up! <laughs> Wait, just be quiet for a second. It has a leaf here, and like in all the parks in New York, if you go to like, par like you know, city parks. <laughs> What the ah. fuck? Yo, that's <laughs> mad funny. If we go to if you go to a city park, all the parks have like the leaf on the bathroom. Yo, Vanna White, chill out. Do you know what kind of leaf that is? My outfit is fire though! You know what kind of leaf that is? It's a park leaf. It's a maple leaf. <laughs> Not old. I was kidding when I said it was a weed leaf, you idiot. You idiot? <laughs> Yo, you're up, Chief. Let's get this over with. Alright. New balance, 580 what? <laughs> Oh, but you, it's like slow motion. You guys Yo, know what it is already. Blueberry crackable. You said blueberry crackable. <laughs> Yo, guys. Vote for me. Vote for this. I didn't know what shoe you're wearing. Could you finish this shit, please? I did. I said oh, Alpine right here. Look. Yo, look. Yo, she's going to fucking spill her drink everywhere. There you go. You guys, you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We out of here. What? Jinx what? You said I at the same time as me. All right, we're done. We're out of here. Later. Why is she walking off the set? You're not coming back? Oh, that's right. Oh, I can't walk off the set. We're on my bed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>